Hello, I'm Stevie T. Some of you may know me. And today I'm gonna teach you how to be country music superior genre. Now one of the most important aspects of country music is country music image. And the traditional image of country music has changed throughout the years, with modern artists incorporating a lot more black into their getup. Of course black being more associated with metal music, however, metal music is inferior genre. So here is the formula for country music image. You start off with your power metal image. Yeah! Then you take your wig, chuck it in the f***ing bucket, replace with cowboy hat. Next, you take your shoes. Chuck in the f***ing bucket. Replace with cowboy boots. Congratulations, you have now successfully country music. I'll stop doing that. Now, one of the reasons why rock and metal music sucks, oh, because coming up with a rock or metal band name is next to impossible. <laughs> Look, you would have better luck stapling a buffalo's balls to the top of a tree than you would coming up with a band name in a month. Country music, however, has a very specific formula for coming up with a country name. Now pay very close attention, it's kinda complicated. You take your first name, okay? Then you take your last name and chuck it in the f it bucket. Travis. So my country name would be Steve Travis. So if your name is Josh Smith, your country name would be Josh Travis. If your name is Travis Wilson, your country name would be Travis Travis. Sorry Travis, I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Now, some of you may be saying, Stevie, you're Canadian, you can't be a true Southern country star. Well, I say phooey! Because with the help from today's sponsors, NordVPN, I can simply change my location to, um, Dallas, Texas. Well, now who's the country star? Well, okay, I'm still in Canada, but as far as the internet is concerned, I'm in Dallas, Texas. You see, NordVPN filters all your personal information through super fast, super secure servers, preventing hackers, service providers, websites, country superstar Taylor Swift from accessing your personal information. Now here in North America, we have the pleasure of being able to watch this Garth Brooks movie. But Netflix in Brazil does not have Garth Brooks movie. How, how do they live? But fear not! With NordVPN, someone in Brazil could connect to, say, Montreal, and now they can finally watch this Garth Brooks movie. But many countries have terrible geo-blocking, and NordVPN really levels the playing field and lets anyone watch what they want while protecting their identity. So you know the link. Go to nordvpn.com slash terryberry to get a two-year plan with Nord with a massive discount. And you also get one extra month for free because Brazil deserves Garth Brooks. So click that link in the description, people. Thank you, Nord, for protecting, and thank you for sponsoring. Oh, right, and another reason why rock and metal sucks <laughs> is because once you've come up with a band name, what font are you gonna use? Do you go unreadable? Do you go super unreadable? Do you go blood font? Do you go horror font? Do you go futuristic? Too many freaking options, rock and metal, inferior genre. In country music, the law is already laid out for you. All country artists herein will use this font and only this font in accordance with the Country Music Etiquette Act. Failure to comply with preceding accordances will result in Taylor Swift breaking up with you. So this will be your font in accordance with the law. Taylor Swift, please don't write a song about me. Oh right! Another reason why rock and metal music sucks! They just have way too many performance stances or performance moves to choose from. Do you want to do the jump? Do you want to do the power stance? The windmill? The headbang? The windmill picking? The power slide? The hippity hoppity? The spinneroo? It's just not consistent signs of an inferior genre. Country music has only one and needs only one performance stance. In country music, we call it the gumbo thrust. Raise that guitar, lean back your gumbo chops, thrust, 
Guitar, thrust. I am superior country superstar, superior genre. Taylor Swift ain't breaking up with this. Taylor Swift ain't writing a song about this. Superior genre. Now that we haven't, I'll stop with the accent. Now we have to address the singing. Now country singing is all about their performance. And the technique that I find helps me sing country vocals is the rain technique. Rain, rain, rain. Because what rain does is it prepares your mouth for country vocals. Every word you sing, you wanna imagine you're saying rain. You wanna take your vocals from here to rain. rain. Just practice saying rain at first. Rain, 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 rain. So uh, what's the weather supposed to be like tomorrow? Rain. And another important part of country music singing is you don't want a wide vocal range. You want to stay somewhere within the two semitone range. Some country singers may sing down here like this. Mid-range country singers sing right here. Range country singers sing right here. You're never gonna see one go country music. Some rock singers have a vocal range of many octaves. That we call in country music compensating for a small hog. Steve, can I borrow a. Oh, howdy! I'm Steve Travis. What is wrong with you? How do you reckon? Can I borrow this Bluetooth speaker? Absolutely not, you ugly gizzard! What in tarnation? You get back over here! Get back here, you rootin', scootin', skinny scabootin', no good liver lips! That's right, go on now, get! What good are you? What good are you? Good for nothing, wild hog! Well, I suppose all that's left now is writing ourselves a country song. Now, the laws for country songs are very strict. Every country song has to follow this chord progression. One, two, three, four. Now, you can do it in whatever key you want, but it has to be those four chords. And you are also required by law to do this. At the end of the chorus, all the instruments hold, you say the name of the song, move on. Required by law. Taylor Swift will be pissed. So for example, let's say our country song is called Cowboy Boots and Beers. So we would have this. Do our chorus. Here's a chorus about my big red boots. Here's a chorus about my big red drug. My wife broke up with me. What a devil woman. Cowboy boots and beers. Oh, and on another note, none of this shredding bullshit. None of this. Anyone who shreds on guitar like this is compensating for a small howl. Well, all that's left to do now is to put together everything we've learned into a music video. I hope you all enjoy it. You better done hit that subscribe button or I'm gonna be darn pissed. And always remember, gumbo chops. and beers. I've been through one or two divorces. The last one took my favorite horses. Take the back roads, roll up the window, got my windshield
covered from the sand dunes On the tailgate, crack me a couple beers Rain, rain, rainy rain Under a 